What's going on, Neon Nation? Welcome back for some more Cyberpunk 2077 coverage from E3 2019. As you can tell by the title of this video, it's going to be in relation to recent quote-unquote backlash CD Projekt Red and their team are receiving on a specific advertisement in the world of Night City. As you guys know, I try to be quite a positive person and frame my videos as objectively as possible without resorting to being quote-unquote toxic. Life's too short to take things so seriously, but that doesn't mean they shouldn't be discussed and I will jump in on controversial topics, which I generally don't care to speak on from time to time if I feel like I have something to say. This is one of those times. So if you guys are unaware, CD Projekt Red is currently facing backlash based on an in-game advertisement, which can be seen clearly in their new RTX featured images from Nvidia highlighting its ray tracing functionality. It features a woman in a bodysuit of some kind with an outline of male genitals underneath. It's been widely criticized as being edgy at the expense of transgender people. One of the biggest outlashes comes from a certain individual from Twitter, but I'm gonna leave the name blurred out for reasons I will explain later. Now, as far as I know, this individual creates online stories via Twine that are of an erotic nature, and they feature transgender artwork at times. Now, according to her in these tweets, she says this, I have an erotica Twine with two trans girls with male genitalia, but I weave their genitals in a way that feels feminine, soft, and affirming. There's no shock value here. She goes on to say if Cyberpunk 2077 treated girl dicks just as another facet of life, it would be fine. Before I get to my personal thoughts, we have a response from the artist Kezia Raduziak, who created some of the ads and the Mix It Up ad in question. She says that the corporations in Cyberpunk mean that marketing is more overt and aggressive. She mentions that hypersexualization is apparent everywhere, and in our ads there are many examples of hypersexualized women, men, and people in between. It was a conscious choice on our end to show that in this world, you're fighting against the corporations and these advertisements. Now, CDPR is hypersexualizing everyone. That's one of the points of a constrictive cyberpunk world. They aren't leaving behind any sexual preferences, and in this vein, they're treating everyone with equality by having them all mistreated in the world of cyberpunk. If they didn't hypersexualize transgender people and transgender people only, would this individual still have a problem with it? Likely, and it's no secret judging by their entire Twitter feed, which largely panders to negative outrage hive mind mentalities without putting forward anything constructive. This isn't an attack on you personally, this is the world of cyberpunk, an attack on the entire way we live as a society. People are becoming so jaded that they think everything that doesn't latch onto the status quo of the way they frame things in their heads is an all-out assault or provocation of their beliefs. Now yes, CDPR has had some missteps with the trans community in the past via GOG and some of their tweets, but those can be argued to be in more poor taste because they aren't intrinsically connected to the world of cyberpunk, their rules, methodologies, and world. I have the firm belief that we can all live our lives in the way we want. As long as we don't encroach on another person's personal space, both physically and metaphorically, and try to James Charles their ass, I don't really care what people do, and in fact I think it's good to celebrate diversity without it turning into some sort of pissing contest on having a superior sexual preference. No one criticizes art if it's a mother breastfeeding, because if you did, you'd look like an asshole who's trying to stand on some sort of moral high ground made of sand. But we can criticize literal art and advertisements in a game where the whole point of the world is that these images are perpetuated by corporations. These attacks on CDPR are from a vocal minority, and although I'm sort of feeding into what these vocal minorities like, these videos are few and far between for me because I generally don't want to give people like this a platform, which is why I've blurred out their names. This is their modus operandi, to latch onto the latest hottest thing and bash the living hell out of it until it gets notoriety, publicity, and attention. These are the same kind of people who go to a restaurant, order a coke, and when the waitress asks if Pepsi is okay, get all bent out of shape and condescending, and write a poor review on Yelp afterwards. By seeing the world through your biased lens, you're just confirming the tropes of cyberpunk. All the ads are over the top. This is a stifling market environment where you're suffocated by neon imagery and product placement. That's the whole point. This has less to do with sexual issues or their personal sexuality being under fire, and more to do with the volatility of some people. If you do end up finding the individual who said this, compare and contrast how many tweets are negative compared to positive. Glass half-empty mentalities pushing their own agendas at the expense of hardworking artists who have to defend their craft. There's rumors of journalists and media boycotting Cyberpunk 2077. They can try and if they do, we'll just buy two extra copies on GOG and fully support CDPR in silence. We don't even have to fight fire with fire. Thanks for watching guys and for everything and anything Cyberpunk 2077, join Neon Nation by subscribing to the Neon Arcade.